I'm going to show you how to sign your students into Google Chrome so that they can access their Google Classroom from their teacher. Now, most of you already have Chrome set up with your personal account, and oftentimes you can't get into the Google Classroom because you're using your personal account instead of your students. So what you want to do is to make sure that you go over to this top portion, right over here in the top part of Google Chrome. Generally, you'll probably see your icon um, or something that you've set up. If I click on that, it will show me all of the accounts that I have set up through Chrome. What you want to do is go down to the very bottom where it says Add. I'm going to click the Add button. I'm going to put in my student's name. And you can just scroll down to where it says Add down here towards the bottom. Once you click that, it will ask you to sign in. So they're already a Chrome user, so you click the Sign In button. Then you have to put that student's email address in. Don't forget the at gulllakecs.org part. Then the student's password. And then click the Next button. When this asks about linking data, you want to say link the data. What that means is all those students' shortcuts and things will come across. And then where it says turn on sync, make sure you turn on sync. And now that student's data and that student's account will be right over here. And it will live right down at the bottom. And generally, no matter which device you're using, it will also put a shortcut onto your desktop. So now when I want to sign in as my student and check what's going on in Google Classroom, I can click that student's icon and go into their Google Classroom. And then all of their classrooms will show up here. So that's the easiest way. And then what's nice is it down here at the bottom will also be yours as the parent your profile never changed. You didn't lose your logins and the student has their own over here. So what you want to do is make sure you have two sign-ins. Now that you have all your profiles installed, all you have to do is go up to your little icon up here on the top right, click on it, and you can choose any of the profiles that you want to go into. So if you wanted to go back to your personal email, you would just click on that profile and it'll pop it up. Same thing, go back up to that profile image and go back to the student. Makes it really easy for switching back and forth without having to sign in or sign out. It also allows each of you to have your shortcuts with your bookmarks up here and all your passwords saved as well. You can also go to this link right here and that will show you how to do this step-by-step -step as well.